Okay, I received this battery from the customer and it was at 52.7 volts. And now with the charger, we're getting it up to 58.2. And the orange light and the fan are still on on the charger. So we're still going. And I'm going to try and catch the moment that this cuts out. And we'll see how high it actually gets. Okay, it just kicked out. And now it was at 57.4. And it's dropping, which is completely normal. The green light is now on the charger. So now what's happening is the BMS is balancing the cells. Okay, I've let it sit for a few hours now and it's at 54.9. And just for an example, I've just turned my bike on here. This is one I took off the charger yesterday and it's sitting at 53.7. So it is normal for them to drop this much voltage while it's cell balancing. Okay, I've now got your battery mounted on my bike. And I have it with one of my batteries on here that I charged yesterday. And now I'm going to turn my battery on. Keep in mind this was charged yesterday. And it is sitting at, where are we here, 53.6 volts. Now I'm going to shut it off. And turn your battery on. And it is sitting at... 54.6 volts. So now I'm going to take it for a ride. 54.5 now. Of course, I've got my dual lumens on now, but uh, so it is using power. But I'm going to take it for a test drive. Okay, I've done some riding now. Burned off two and a half amps. And it's resting at 52.7 volts, which I would assume is completely normal. Uh, the other uh, 30 amp battery I was testing the other day was resting at 52.5. I guess I should stop comparing to that video in case you don't see it. But now I'm going to do some crazy hill climbing. Okay, I'm at the base of a steep hill here. So I'm going to start uh, going up and down this hill consistently and see how many amps I can get out of the battery. And I'm going to work it real hard. I don't expect to get very many kilometers. Uh, I've burned off three amps and only went five kilometers so far because I'm really hard throttling and going up and down hills. But here we go up the hill. So you can see full throttle. Voltage is sagging down around 48 volts. It should drop more as I climb. I'm only getting 17 kilometers an hour, you know, and, uh, and that is definitely because the hill is so steep. Okay, now I'm making the crest of the hill here shortly. And I'm going to shut off the camera here and I'm going to zoom around the block a few more times, keep going up this hill and see how far I can run this battery down. Okay, I've now burned 6.6 .6 amps out of the battery. Uh, the voltage is resting at 51.9 volts. Uh, everything still seems quite normal here. I've only gone 11 half kilometers on the 6.6 .6 amps because I'm basically just going straight up and down a hill here. And, uh, I'm trying to get as many amps out of this battery as possible. So I'm going to continue. Okay, now we're getting up uh, over 8 amps of power used. The voltage is really starting to sag now. It's down around 44 volts. Uh, this battery is uh, starting to lose power. I'm still getting 1,000 watts out of it. I'm thinking part of the reason we're not getting uh, a lot of amps out of it is the weather. You know, a lot of things can affect the battery, and right now it's freezing cold out here. My hands and face are freezing. Okay, we're starting to flatten out here again. That was a crazy hill climb. I was going up there again, so I'm going to start heading towards the house here and see if I get a full 10 amps out of it or 9 something at least. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so now I'm much closer to home. I got 9.57 amps out of this battery. It's now resting at 46.9 volts. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with this battery at all. It seems to be working perfectly. The complaint on this battery was the customer has run it through, uh, I don't know, he said 50 cycles or something, and it's not getting the same distance he used to get from it. Uh, I believe that comes to a lot of different factors that people don't realize. Uh, you know, one of them is when people first get their e-bike, they pedal, and then after a period of time, they don't pedal much anymore, and that makes a difference. Uh, maybe they used to pedal at the beginning on takeoff, and then not later. 
uh, you know, later on they're not take, pedaling on takeoff. Uh, maybe they're driving high speed everywhere. Uh, whatever the whatever the reasons may be, uh, this battery is definitely working fine. Uh, you can see the voltage is recovering at rest here. It's back up to 47.2. So we're definitely near the end of the life on this battery. I don't know if I'm going to run it until I kick it out, or maybe it will. I don't know. But I'm at a long, gradual uphill grade here, and we're going to see what happens. So I'll just get going here. Okay, with the throttle on, full throttle. Okay, immediately we're driving down to 42 volts. I'm only getting, uh, you know, 350 watts out of it. 9.6 amps, 42 volts. It's going to kick out at 42. And there we go. Well, I would say that that is completely normal. I'm going to cycle the key and see if it comes back on and see what the statistics are. Okay, cycling the key did bring it back on. So I got 9.64 amps out of the battery. Uh, considering my rolling weight is probably 400 pounds, actually quite a bit more than that. Uh, it's a 29er, so it's big wheels, takes lots of torque to get it to go. And I spent the entire ride going up and downhill, up and downhill, up and downhill. And I got 19.3 kilometers out of it. So I would say this battery is normal. Right now I'm just going to nurse it uh, along with a light throttle and I should be able to get home from here. Okay, so with a very gentle throttle, it's holding at 44 volts, so it's not going to kick out on me. And I'm getting 11, 12 kilometers an hour. So I should be able to get home from here like this. Let's we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm back home now. I got exactly 10 amp hours out of this battery and 20 kilometers. Uh, the last uh, kilometer or so, I cycled the key on and off a couple times to get home. Uh, at rest now, it's at 45.7 volts. And uh, as you can see, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this battery. So this is a test of a Golden Motor 48 volt 10 amp battery. Uh, this one is actually a used one with about 50 to 60 cycles on it. So you can see how well they perform. And it's Gary Silo at Gold Motor Canada. Enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching.